Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Ate one satisfying meal, topped it off with one measly dessert, so Mr. Hot to speaking. Previously, there was a third segment to the rant on Jamar 500, hopefully the most epic rant on Jamar, set of rants on Jamar on YouTube. History. This is the fourth and hopefully final segment on Jamar 500. And this is going to be the rant on Jamar's life outside of YouTube, his personal life. And how he is not one constructive member to the community. Joining for the rant is the guest, our beloved guest, Zach Attack Studios, for the fourth consecutive Yo, video. What up, guys? What up, Zach Attack Studios? Pleasure to have you on board. How are you doing today, sir? You know, I'm doing good, sir. How about you? We're doing well. We're ready to get back to go back in action and rant on Jamar. Finally. Jamar. Finally, the final segment. Here we go. Recently, Jamar got to go to Florida. How can he afford uh, to go to Florida? Seriously, how were you, how were you able to go to Florida if you're freaking on free on welfare? Seriously. And li and you're living with other family members. How can you afford going to Florida? Is not cheap. Two plane tickets. Those are at least those are about eight hundred dollars. It's about it's over three hundred dollars for a plane ticket to Florida from Cleveland. It costs much more to go to Florida than we expect. And how on earth does he get to go every year to Florida? And he gets to go to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico every year. That's that's probably over four hundred, five hundred dollars easily. At the bare minimum oh. cost. How can he afford that? That's more expensive than a bunch of books. Also, not only in going traveling, that's reserved for the rich, the top 1%. Traveling is limited, it's supposed to be limited to the experts, the, the, the common travelers, businessmen, and the honorable ones. And Jamar does not come close to a single one of those groups of members in the United States. He is not one shadow of one. He's a commoner. No, he's far below a commoner. He's at the bottom of the social pyramid. He's at the very bottom, the dirt of the social pyramid. On the pyramid, he's on the ground being stepped on by pharaohs. That is how, how low he is in the Hindu caste system. He's an outcast of society, an untouchable, one who shouldn't be spoken of, who has no friends. And yet he gets to go on two expensive trips a year. Most Americans don't get to. Only maybe half the Americans, maybe 60% of the Americans get that privilege every year. And he's at the bottom he gets those privileges. In addition to those privileges, how can he afford gaming consoles and those expensive games? And he also gets a tablet every Christmas. And those are $500 a piece tablets. Seriously. Tablets are not cheap. And he he also has an expensive smartphone. And a computer probably. Who can afford all that and be on welfare? The government can't can't give those out. It's wasting their tax money. That is unspeakable, this action. Jamar receiving all these privileges. Having a phone is supposed to be a privilege, not a right. Having a tablet is supposed to be a privilege, not a right. Having games at home is supposed to be a privilege, not a right. How can you afford all these privileges when he's at the bottom of the, of the, of the social structure in this country? That makes zero sense how he can, he can receive those privileges. Oh, Jamar's history. Why not? Jamar should be sent back to Puerto Rico permanently. He has no business living in the, in the 48 United States, let alone living in five different states. How on earth could he even afford to live in Florida? That's not cheap. He could afford to even still live in his country. He's better off being sent to Puerto Rico living with his grandparents, probably. He doesn't belong here. He's not been constructed to society. He quit college. And he does nothing but sleep in and eats breakfast cereal and chips all day. Those are his only activities. 
and call yourself a member of this country? How is he? How do you even? How do you even earn his right to live in the 48 states? That is questionable. Easily questionable. Oh, Jamar. Bad Jamar. Bad. Get out. Out of this country now. No good for nothing. Out. Do not dare think that you deserve to live in, in Ohio. Thank goodness you're in a ghetto in Cleveland. That's where you belong. You don't even belong there. You belong in Puerto Rico. You deserve to be exiled to your homeland. You should be exiled to St. Helena, which is off the coast of Africa. Good riddance for him. Last thoughts, Sack Attack Studios. Nope. With that, it's all to say for this rant. See you on the next rant. Peace out. This should hopefully be the last rant on Zack Attack Studios. We will watch the rant by Bazinga Fan, who's finally back in action, even though we're not associated with him. See you in the next video. Peace out. Good night.